You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Kate Berg, and that is Cecile Jacobs, also known as Sheila James. Her exhibit here at the Nanaimo Museum is called Spirit of Life. She is a fabric artist, and we're looking at that today on Go. Today on Go Island, a popular shortcut near Parksville is no longer an option. Vancouver Island sea salt and sparking the debate on legalizing pot. That and more today on Go. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is a piece of work by Cecile Jacobs. It's actually her first piece. She describes her transformation into becoming an artist as a perfect storm. 14 years ago, she moved into a new apartment. She needed to cover a doorway in that apartment. Her daughter started dating an artist and was being encouraged to do some art herself. And she was diagnosed with breast cancer and did not expect to live. She started creating things. She'd been sewing all her life, and she started creating pieces to leave for her family. She's got three children as heirlooms. And this is a family tree. It's her family tree. And each flower in the tree has a number on it. And then you can refer to the book to find out who that member of Cecile's family is. Now, if you happen to be a member of Cecile's family or a friend, you might not know that we're talking about Sheila James. Cecile Jacobs is Sheila James, and we'll talk, about mo we'll talk more about that and her work later on this edition of Go. In the meantime, we are throwing things down to Nikki Iwanishan in Victoria. Living life on the streets is no doubt a very hard life, and unfortunately in Victoria, more street people have died in the past year than in previous years. Nikki Iwanishan has that story. But before we head down there to Victoria, a popular logging road off Highway 19 was a popular shortcut for people, but now that road has been closed. Here's Annette Lucas. A tough situation in Victoria for sure, and Nanaimo and other communities across the island have similar challenges and what we can do is to reach out and help and acknowledge that not everybody is as blessed as others and what they can take for granted in their everyday life. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is Cecile Jacobs, or is it? <laughs> <laughs> now, your, your real name is Sheila James. Yes. Tell me about how the, the two names came to be. Okay. Well, I've been involved in the arts for many years, theatre, writing, research, um, and I used the name Sheila James, my real name. Um, when I started doing this, I needed to keep it separate from the other things. Maybe at that point I wanted to hide behind it, who knows? Quite a few reasons, but the main reason was to keep it separate. So I decided to use the name Cecile Jacobs, which is a kind of Latinized version of Sheila James. Okay. Saint Cecilia and Jacobus. And then your work became more popular than you had expected yeah. it to be, and now you can't even shake that name yeah. if you wanted so to. So by then I was stuck with the name. I've been trying to ditch Cecile for the last year, but uh, I don't know she, if I she's that stuck. To be she's stuck, but. At least I'm now I'm out of the closet, so. <laughs> so we can call you Sheila. 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 Um, and Sheila, Cecile, has an exhibit here at the museum in downtown Nanaimo. It's called Spirit of Life. And this is one of the pieces. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's a trip tech, and it tells a story from a very personal experience. You were diagnosed with cancer. You didn't think you were going to live, but here you are. Yes, this was, uh, this was done about seven years after I had cancer. Um, and in the year or so before, I had been involved with the Okanagan fires of 2003. Um, I was there at the time it started, and I was there afterwards, and I went back a year later and saw how everything was building up to be as good as, as ever. And I realized that there was a parallel in that between that and my life. So I decided to do this triptych to show that life might be wonderful at the beginning, but there is always the seed of destruction. Mm. Here we have devastation, total devastation. The same scene, as you can see, it's exactly the same, all three. Um, but after devastation, not, do, not only do we just have regeneration, we have proliferation. So everything is, can be even better 
after devastation than it was before. We can also take the example of uh, land that has been devastated by a volcano, mm -hmm. where the land is more fertile afterwards. Okay. Um, and this is a metaphor for you because you feel <laughs> more whole, more complete after um, your cancer? I wouldn't quite say that, but it, it opened up a whole new aspect of my life. So that after 14 years, I can actually say with truth that I'm glad it happened to me because of all the rich things that came out of it. So that I, I did this also as a message to other people, people who perhaps have been uh, recently diagnosed with cancer, whatever kind, um, as a message that life is not over and life, whatever happens, good things come out of it, good things come out of bad things and things can be even better afterwards than they were before. We're going to come back with more from Cecile Jacobs' Sheila James exhibit here at the Nanaimo Museum. It's called Spirit of Life. We'll be back with more after a short break. Still ahead today on Go, Vancouver Island boasts its very own salt, David Lenham's top 10 and the controversy of legalizing marijuana. That's still ahead on Go. You're watching Go Island on Sean TV Channel 4. Today we're at the Nanaimo Museum exploring an exhibit by Sheila James called Spirit of Life. And this is the central piece. This is the title piece. It was created 14 years ago. Sheila, it looks full of symbolism, full of color, full of meaning. It is full of meaning, yeah. yes. Overall, it illustrates a poem by the, the poet William Wordsworth about the spirit of the universe that flows through everything and unites everything on Earth. And I've created the spirit by being the, the cream part this, the, the outside part, circle. Which over, over, comes around everything, it comes in through the top and then uh, fill, trickle down right. through everything. Right. So that each of these, the 72 symbols in each of these units all the way around, and they all symbolize a different message. Um, my main message always is that good comes out of bad. Mm. And this is probably the best, this lotus is probably the best illustration of this because the lotus grows in muddy water, not in clear water. Uh, so something beautiful comes out of something ugly. Um, so the spirit surrounds everything and it co collects in the middle as the, the yin yang, the perfect balance. You so, surprised yourself in becoming an artist. Absolutely, you, yes. You were always a, a sewer. Yes. A craftsperson. Yes. You're a full on artist now. I am, yeah. And you have a mission. Yes. A, a few yes. missions. Yes, a few missions. Yes, I was a craftsperson. I did crochet. I made my own clothes. I did some embroidery. But I still to this day don't regard myself as an expert embroiderer. But I like a bit of all kinds of media. So um, it surprised me to discover that I had crossed that line between craftsperson and artist in that I was now creating uh, images with messages, but above all, original pieces. And I'd like other people to have the confidence to learn to step outside the box and do their own original work because people can do it, but they don't think they can do it. Now, each one of the pieces I have done has been a challenge in itself. And I just have to tell myself at the beginning, yes, I can do it. Yes, I can. And, and have a and strong enough conviction of the yes. message that you feel you're yes. wanting to convey. That's right. It's the passion of the message that I need to convey which keeps me going. So with each new piece that I complete, it gives me more confidence to do the next one and to consider the next challenge. We're going to look at another piece <laughs> when we come back on this edition of Go Island. And we're just touching the surface of the work that is here. And we encourage you to come on down to the museum and check it out for yourself. All of the symbols that are, are featured in this central piece, Spirit of Life, are listed here so you can see what they all are and they're well laid out for you um, by Sheila and the museum. We'll be back with more on this edition of Go. We're going to throw things over now to Karen Elgersma. We've got an abundance of fresh food here on Vancouver Island. Did you know that we have our own salt? We do. We always like to get a Shaw TV exclusive, even if it is about salt. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is some of the work 
in an exhibit called Spirit of Life here at the Nanaimo Museum. You can check it out this weekend or next weekend or the weekend after. If you're looking to fill your entertainment calendar, David Lenham has a few picks of his own. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're in the Nanaimo Museum looking at ex an exhibit by Sheila James, Cecile Jacobs, uh, called Spirit of Life. And this is a series that's called the Harmony Series, The Hand of God in Asia. Sheila has traveled extensively, gains her inspiration from different cultures, different parts of the world, and I'm kind of ad living now, assuming that that's the case. Yes, absolutely. I lived recently three years in Asia, traveling, constantly traveling, covered 22 countries, um, and it couldn't fail to be an inspiration. What inspired me the most was the harmony between mm -hmm. the religions of Asia and the nature, the natural elements of Asia. Um, and I, so I've, I've captured all that in this whole series, different elements of being in Asia and the, the hand of God with nature and with man's temples, etc. This one is an Islamic portier. When I first visited Kuala Lumpur, I was blown away by the Islamic architecture and culture there. And uh, I felt I had to do one of these as a, as a, a homage to that. Um, you can spend, I can spend a long time looking at your pieces because every time I look, I'm, I'm seeing something new in it. These flowers that are at the bottom. Yes, yes. And these are things that are new techniques that I had to learn. I try to learn as many new techniques as I can. I file them away because I never know when I'm going to use them. So the idea for me, it's multimedia because the message is the important thing. And, and what then, is the message in this one? Um, the message, it's an overall, it's an overall uh, homage to nature and the Islamic culture okay. within it. Um, but along the way, this one took me nine whole, this central piece, which is separate from the outer piece, took me nine months to do because I had to learn various new techniques in order to complete it. So this was a new challenge in a different way. Mm. Um, so I had, I had to learn how to make flowers like that. I had to learn a different style of embroidery to do this. I had to learn about perspective, which I didn't know. That's one thing I really picked up. Um, yeah. Sheila had shared with us that she can't draw a cat or a dog, and then you look at the, at the grasp of perspective that you have here, and that's actually hard to believe. But it's quite mathematical, <laughs> though. <laughs> right. Rather than the actual, the act of drawing something natural, Something like that is a mathematical process. Um, even then, I'm sure a, a, um, a trained artist would probably pick faults in it. But I do my best. How do you feel about people touching your work? No, they shouldn't because okay. one person is okay, but then if you multiply that, right. it, uh, it would damage it. It would, it would layer, layer, layer of grief. Well, I will admit that I've already gone through and actually touched a few of your pieces, but it's just me and I, I won't do it again. We're going to throw things over now to this week in BC. The Stephen Harper government is looking, uh, there's a lot of mayors, I should say, in British Columbia that want to legalize marijuana, but apparently the Stephen Harper government is going to kill their butts. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. We've thoroughly enjoyed meeting artist Sheila James. She has an exhibit here at the museum in downtown Nanaimo called Spirit of Life, and she actually created that piece. It's called Nanaimo Rainbows End for this exhibit. We highly recommend coming to check it out. You can also look at her work. CeceleJacobs.com is her website. And she's actually holding a lecture with illustration. She's working right now on a piece to use in that lecture, which is going to take place on Thursday, October the 18th from 1.30 until 3.30 here at the museum. Thank you for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time.